Hey, Henrik here. Want to demo the Revoicely? It's a software that enables you to create video caption from a already existing video in a language. It can translate those captions into languages and it can then take those translations and create voiceovers uh, based on that. You have the ability to go in and select a video from your desktop. You can go in and uh, take a YouTube video. And of course, if you have worked with a program before, you can do that. So I will go in and select a video from my computer. We have one here, so we'll open. And you can see it starts playing up here. And then I will go in and give it a file name. The video transcription source, I will choose the Google API here. That's the only one that's available. The video language is English, so I create the project here, and now I'm in the the editor. And the first thing I want to do is to create subtitles. So I generate subtitles here. So I create subtitles for the English spoken video. So I create that. That's quite fast. So we see it's working, it's speech to text powered by Google. And it's roughly two and a half minutes video that I have chosen here. And now it's finished. So I'll close this one. So you can see down here, I have the subtitles ready here. If I want, I can go up and export the titles. So here I can choose the file I want to export them to. And then I have a, an SRT files, which I can upload to YouTube and other video hosting sites if I need to. You can um, then translate the, oh, I can just show you the video is running here. So I can translate those into another uh, language. So if I click translate, I can choose here that I want to, let's say, go to German, start translation. It was fast. It's done already. And now you can see down here, I have the German translation. It says up here, it's a German. Then I can create my voiceover. Oh, I need to set the option first. Well, I want to, I'm choosing the wave nets. I'll take a female voice. I'll take this one here. I can hit speak and we'll speak and then I'll say save, save changes, create the voiceover, generate. It's now generating the voiceover for the video. Finished. And you can see down here, it has actually the German voiceover. But now I'll first go over here to the video and then I'll set the volume for the original to let's say 10. So the English spoken in the background will be only 10% of this, its normal sound. So let's try to listen to it.
so you can hear the German voice there's the subtitles as well and over here you can see the the subtitles and if if you like you can go in you can change so if you want to change override options you can take a, a male voice uh, so you have a swap between uh, a female and the male voice if you like that another thing that's quite interesting is that you can go over and swap between the languages that you have chosen but if i want to go back to the english one i can go here and it's you can see it's swapped to the english subtitles i can then go in again translate it to another language if i want that to spanish start translation it's done and now i have a spanish translation here i can then go in do the same thing i did before choose can't choose other than a standard female voice so save that so it, it, sorry it only had the standard voice there so save the changes there create the voice over generate and what i've got here is now i'm creating the third version for it so i have a spanish version i have the german version and an english version so if i want to have the german and render that and just hit here so i'm going to target german i'll choose my output folder save that and then i can choose what i want video and subtitles or just the pure video or just the audio of it so um, I will take video and subtitles and render and I start rendering so it's quite fast and easy to get another version of the video or your video so if you have created video and for example um, Content sum, uh, some some uh, context summary. Then you can go in here, swap the video to be an English one, German one, French one, whatever you like, and uh, by that you can create uh, different unique videos uh, quite fast. So let's see this render. So it's nearly finished now. I can go directly to the folder and play the video if I like. But I'm just going up here and save the file and then I can go back and work on it at a later stage. So my my conclusion for this product is that uh, it's an early version of it there has only be a few hiccups in terms of when the language that you're translating to is the captions or the subtitles uh, are very short and the the this voice always uh, explained in a longer language then there has been some overlaps but you can fix that and um, I like the ability to go in and swap and change and add uh, further captions and uh, translations in here so it's a quite flexible uh, tool and it's awful cheap <laughs> for the price and for the time that you you're saving uh, i've been creating uh, 
videos like clockwork in different uh, languages and uploading them so it's really a handsome tool and uh, you should go and get it at least when it's uh, on, on uh, pre-sale here so that's all from this video enjoy